皆さんこんにちは。Hello everyone. This is Naoki Yoshida, producer of Final Fantasy 16. And welcome to the State of Play. Today, I'm here to talk a little bit about the story, world, and combat system of Final Fantasy 16, as well as reveal all new information regarding the game's wide variety of RPG elements and support systems. We'll be talking you through everything while using never before seen gameplay footage running on the PlayStation 5. I hope you'll stay with us until the end of the show and enjoy everything we have in store for you. With that, let's get started. You all know the target Shiva's dominant, and only the dominant. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. I said focus, Wyvern. Home, sweet home. Allow me to welcome you to the world of Final Fantasy XVI. Final Fantasy XVI is the latest installment in the Final Fantasy series, a storied franchise with 35 years of history. Yet, while this is the 16th mainline title in the series, there's absolutely no need to have played any of the previous games before jumping in. With a fusion of real time action and RPG features, Final Fantasy XVI has been developed as the first true action RPG in the series. Using the power of the PlayStation 5 to its fullest, the game delivers an expansive, thrilling gameplay experience which we liken to a high speed roller coaster ride. The protagonist of our story is Clive Rosfield, and his journey takes place in the realm of Valisthea. We follow the epic tale of Clive, shield of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, as it unfolds across three distinct periods in our hero's life his teens, twenties, and thirties. While the story begins with Clive in his 20s, a fully playable flashback will allow you to experience the pivotal events that shaped his past and present. And thus does the curtain open on this newest Final Fantasy adventure.
Navigation in Final Fantasy 16 is driven via a world map, with locations being added and updated as players progress through the main narrative. The world map can be opened at any time, allowing players access to all manner of locations across Valisthea. Here, players will meet new friends, encounter formidable foes, and uncover great and wondrous mysteries. Next, I'd like to talk about the combat of Final Fantasy XVI. All the battles in the game take place in real time and are not turn-based. As Clive progresses through the story, he will learn a wide array of exciting abilities from the icons that he encounters. Now, let's take a moment to admire Clive in action. that Clive wields have unique characteristics depending on the icon they are derived from. Players can use ability points collected by defeating enemies to unlock more abilities or upgrade existing ones. Can't decide which iconic ability to unlock or upgrade? No problem. You can let the game choose for you. Final Fantasy XVI includes a range of timely accessories to provide support to those players who may not be so skilled at action games, bringing them a truly enjoyable experience. Players are encouraged to equip Clive with different combinations of these accessories until they find the one that perfectly matches their own playstyle. A combination I can particularly recommend to those who may struggle with action gameplay is the Ring of Timely Focus and the Ring of Timely Strikes. This combination allows players to unleash a wide array of different techniques just by pressing a single attack button, as well as shifting into a window of slow motion whenever Clive is about to be hit by an attack, giving them a little extra time to hit R1 and evade. 
Alternatively, players could equip an accessory that fully automates evasion. As I said before, I really encourage everyone to discover the combination that works best for them. And for those who want to concentrate on the story, don't forget to choose Story Focus Mode before starting a new game. In this mode, timely accessories are automatically equipped from the start, allowing players to immerse themselves in the narrative experience without having to worry too much with the action. Clive will meet many characters along his journey who will join him as friends and allies. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? Sidolphus, who becomes a mentor to Clive. Jill. True, a friend from Clive's youth. It really is Such you. encounters and reunions will set Clive on a path of great personal growth. It is. Clive! Some of these companions will even accompany Clive on his adventures, fighting alongside him and finding lots to talk about along the way. That said, players will only need to focus on controlling Clive. Party members are fully AI-driven, providing support for the hero and constantly adapting and responding to his actions. Forget Torgal. A smart, strong, and fiercely loyal hound, Torgal is always by Clive's side and willing to stand by him in the face of whatever cruel fate may befall them. Torgal will act of his own accord, but players can also give him direct commands. Just don't forget to give this good boy some treats every now and then. Goots, get her upstairs. But, but Nan will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on, have a look around. I'll be in my solo. After progressing somewhat through the game, Clive will gain access to Sid's hideaway. Here in the hideaway, Clive will find a shop where yes. he can purchase new weapons, armor, and consumables such as potions. You not find a better price than that. Well, Blackthorn, a highly skilled so blacksmith, yeah. works the hideaway's forge bring in materials to craft new gear or upgrade well, existing way, items. After upgrading your equipment or unlocking new abilities, try accessing the Arete Stone. Here, players can enter a virtual training area outside the bounds of time and space, where they are free to refine and practice combos of their very own. Once you're confident in your skills, try your hand at arcade mode and see how your scores stack up against players from around the world. The hideaway is home to a lot of other features as well. Not only will players discover a variety of side quests here, 
but they can also view information on quests offered all around Valistia. Saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Visit the Hunt Board to gain information on elite marks, fearsome foes lurking about the realm in desperate need of slaying. The Moogle will be your guide. There's also Lorsman Harpocrates, who will unlock Valisthea's secrets as Clive recounts tales of his adventures. I have quite the find for you today. You wish to study the tomes? Here for another of my lectures. And Vivian Ninetales, what is it a scholar and strategist who will Here's be more than happy to explain to Clive the current state of the realm and provide information on key players. There are all kinds of interactions and features in the hideaway to help players get even more enjoyment out of their time with Final Fantasy XVI. travels, Clive will encounter a wide array of fearsome foes. with the dominance who wield the power of the icons. Colossal beasts who hold the surrounding lands under their sway. Mysterious constructs of the fallen, a civilization shrouded in mystery.
forget the icons themselves. Experience unparalleled real-time action combat as Clive takes command of the iconic might coursing through his veins and shatters his very limits. The shining point of Final Fantasy XVI, however, has to be the breathtaking icon versus icon battles. confrontations all play out in real time, allowing players to control their very own icon with their own hands. These battles differ depending on the icon encountered, and every showdown is unique, right down to gameplay. Players will experience everything from a 3D scrolling shooter to a heavyweight wrestling match with devastating attacks that encompass the entire battlefield. These massive scale boss battles are entirely seamless and I can promise you heart-stopping, controller-gripping excitement. I can't wait for you to get your hands on the game for yourself. So everyone, what did you think? Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Final Fantasy 16 will be available worldwide June 22nd, and there's still plenty that we've left to reveal. Battle content, side content, endgame content, and more. We hope to bring you more on these aspects of the game in the near future. Also, I'm truly excited to finally be able to reveal that Final Fantasy 16's main theme was written and performed by one of Japan's greatest recording artists. 
Kenshi Yonezu. We've still got a lot more in store for you in the coming weeks, and I hope you'll all pre-order the game and join us in Ballastia on release day. This has been Naoki Yoshida, producer of Final Fantasy XVI. See you again soon.